started using the centrifuge instead of the sonicator. I just seem to get better results with lilac. And I like to separate out the different layers. So let's see if I can show you what I've got here. This is after one minute on 1000 RPMs. And you can just barely see on this tube right here, there's a layer of, looks like, clear liquid on the bottom, maybe a more cloudy or solid layer in the middle that's sort of on an angle, and then the rest is the pure oil. So I'm able to extract any impurities or floral waxes, water, or alcohol, any of the unwanted elements after evaporation has occurred. And I can re-evaporate those, um, those, that component on the bottom, I think is probably water. It's the watery hydrosol of lilac. And the middle layer, the white part, is probably floral waxes. It's a solid, and that's a lovely smelling floral, but um, I can't use it in perfuming. So I want to get rid of that, and I want to get rid of the bottom layer, which is the watery layer, the aqueous layer. So what I'm left with is about mm, 8 mils, 7 mils, 6 mils of really good, high quality, centrifuged lilac oil. Oh, it's going to be fantastic. So this is the way, the preferred way of purifying or clarifying the lilac oil before I use it in perfuming or blending of any kind. And I really like my, my centrifuge. It's very simple. It has a speed gauge and a timer. And that's all you need. Really simple lab equipment to get those kind of results.